36 degrees here today. It's approaching 12 p.m. Edwina says hi. Um, I flew out of Sydney at 7.35 this morning and because of the time difference, I was home at about quarter to nine. I got to see my husband for the first time in like 11 days and then he's flown out again until Friday. So it's not enough time. I miss him. Um, it's, yeah, but this things happen and he'll be traveling every week, I think, before Christmas. Um, got some sad news that my grandmother had a bit of a fall um, and it's, it's created some serious problems for her. So we're on a watching brief. Um, so I haven't really been vlogging this morning because I've been talking to my family and working out what we need to do. I've also had unpacking to do. I have had, um, what else? I had some orders come through for the Dale's Addiction handbag hooks. So if by chance you've been watching Vlogmas and you have not seen these yet, they come in these little velvet bags. And today, here they are. And it was so good at the Fendi event last night to see not one, not two, but three of these um, at the event so that people could hang their baguettes, which was part of the dress code, off of the, um, the dining table. So they worked an absolute treat. So I sent to Linda on Friday before I left. So thank you, Linda, for your purchase. Um, and Linda is based here in Australia, in Victoria, actually. Today, I'm sending to Sandra in Luxembourg. I'm sending to Regina in San Diego, I want to say, and Kathy in Illinois, I want to say, um, or Regina and Kathy, I've mixed up. But anyway, thank you all for your purchases of these handbag hooks. Um, it's really lovely to see the notifications come through. So they are packed up. I'm heading to the post office right now to send them off. Um, just while we're on the handbag hook um, conversation at the Fendi event. Look what I snuggled home in my Neverfull. If you haven't seen my um, uh, Instagram stories. Oh my God, this, these are the biggest peenies you've ever seen. And I said peenies. <laughs> I didn't say that other word, right? They are huge. They are so big. Um, and even the leaves that they've, they're just stunning, magical. So I was so glad that I was able to smuggle those back with me on the plane. Um, they fit under the seat in front of me. Um, it was worth it. It was totally worth it, Meredith. <laughs> she, she, she had no faith in my ability to get them home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to the post office, um, then I'm going to come back and we will have a look at the advent calendar for today. I'll show you some, I want to show you the trunk, um, the side trunk a bit more close up um, so we can have a good look at it. Um, I also want to talk to you about the giveaway of the little baguettes um, from Fendi that I mentioned. And what else do I need to talk to you about? A couple of things and then we might make a list and go and do some grocery shopping and figure out what we're going to eat. I always have awesome recipes in these. So I'm struggling with food inspiration and when I do that I usually think about the meat first. But today I was inspired by all of the Christmas produce so I'm going to get ingredients for a beautiful quinoa salad that I do. It's very colourful. It reminds me of Christmas. So, I need some baby rocket and some carrot. I need... How good is all of these? It's so good. I need a sweet potato. Just a regular sized one. You're going, what? You're making salad? Ah, now this is what we want pomegranate. They feel quite light and they look a bit old. All the way from California, hey? Ooh, yucky. 
these are not in the best condition. That one feels good. I might go and see if they have some just seeds. Okay, well based on the condition of that pomegranate, I may get some dried cranberries as a backup. But that still doesn't solve what I'm going to have for lunch, does it? It might be... I don't know. I don't know what I'm having for lunch. Alright, so I think that I might go and get some meat uh, from my local grocer, not the supermarket, because I want fish or something inspirational. Um, and I'll get some things for lunch there as well. Now I'm looking for quinoa. Quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. Let's go with my colour because it's colourful. We're going to we're going to get some cranberries as a backup. Let's see me do this one-handed for the pomegranate in case the pomegranate is no good. If you don't know about the gobble dock, you haven't lived. It's been forever since I've had potato chips, so I feel like some. They're actually really nice. shopping I think <laughs> we shall see if I've forgotten anything I'll just have to make do so I decided on getting some uh, shaved ham and having a ham sandwich for a late lunch uh, which is very Christmassy ham on the bone and then I bought a salmon fillet or a portion, it's not really a fillet, because um, that would be very big if it was, it's Atlantic salmon. So a salmon portion with skin on, or a chicken Kiev to have for dinner tonight with the salad. So we'll just see how I feel. First I should show you sandwich construction. So on one side I've put the fabulous Duck River butter. On the other side I have spread the Meredith Meredith's cheese, it's fabulous, just like Meredith. 
Meredith Dairy Marinated Goat's Cheese. I've spread it instead of putting sliced cheese. Then I've sliced a trussed tomato, a little bit of red onion, as you can see over here. Um, this is the shaved um, Christmas ham off the bone. I love the texture of shaved ham way more than I do sliced ham. I do not like big chunks of ham. I like it to be shaved and I'm having a one and a half sandwich. So, because this bread is teeny tiny, it doesn't look good on the camera now, but it is very small bread. Um, not sure if anyone else does this, but these are the Tupperware like meat keepers and they're supposed to keep your meat longer. Um, I actually think they really work. You know that they are because they have these little squares on the bottom of them. They come in like all different shapes, but these are the ones. You can see my dishwasher um, water drops on there, but they're the ones and yeah, it keeps your meat for ages. So, you know, if you haven't already checked out Tupperware, the only Tupperware I buy is the things that do useful things. I don't buy Tupperware for sandwich containers and leftovers. I just buy cheap stuff from the supermarket. Now I'm gonna add some mixed leaves and it's done. I don't know where that one is. So, so I had my sandwich and, and I've been watching but the back of that is a little bit of Autumn paper. Beckman's and Vlogmas. And if you guys don't know already, Autumn has the most original Vlogmas, I think. She puts a lot of effort into it. She's gonna love this still shot. She puts a lot of effort into her Vlogmas. And so if you want some good content, lots of links, lots of ideas and things like that, go and see Autumn Beckman's Vlogmas. I will link her in the description box below. The pimple I spotted this morning has been popped and you know, now it's a mess on my face. Who else is guilty of squeezing pimples? I only get them like this is a tide. This is my absolutely recurring tired rundown zit it always happens there it's very annoying so my sandwich was very good and um i feel like it's time for a treat shall we get into the advent calendar now apparently meredith asked me to get an odd shaped one and i thought i got the odd shaped one but she said that wasn't it so meredith is this the odd shaped one? Is this the odd shaped one? I mean, is odd like a subjective term? Is this the odd shaped one? I don't think that is. I don't, what you think is odd and what I think is odd is probably two different things, Meredith. So it's between these two. And of course I'm going for the biggest one because <laughs> why wouldn't I? Okay, let's do it. No, let's look at the trunk first, then we'll do this. Okay, so in mail, we received a beautiful Christmas card from Canturi. If you don't know, Canturi is where I had my engagement ring reset. I usually wear a bunch of rings on this finger, but they're all off at the moment because I'm just slothing around the house. Um, unpacking and doing all of that fabulous stuff. So my lovely sales associate at Canturi sent me this and it's very, very beautiful. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of the cubism style, but also the really bejeweled tones. So thank you, Wanda. She doesn't know I do YouTube, so why did I say that? Also what I got while I was away is this beautiful vintage platter. Now, this is a Fitz and Floyd classic by Halcyon. Um, I follow an Instagram page called Vintage Constellation, I think. And quite often they go on sourcing trips for antiques across Europe, America, and Australia. And they come back and they do these Instagram sales and I just turn the notifications on and then they hit me. And they'll usually curate them by colors. And I've missed out on so many beautiful novel pieces that I wanted. But this pansy plate, oh, I love. It's got holes in it so that it can be a wall plate, um, so that you can hang it on the wall, but I will not be doing that. I'll be using it as a kind of decor around the house on one of the benches or perhaps even in my dressing room. Depends, it might just move around. I just love the colors. It's in perfect condition. Um, I will link their Instagram 
below but if you're into really unique homewares that have had a previous life um, and really pretty things they find really quite um, whimsical pieces as well then definitely check these guys out so that came whilst i was away i just wanted to show you up close because i've got to remove some more christmas decorations from the tree again with natural light this gorgeous gorgeous swarovski crystal decoration from the fabulous rod at the Lux theory that was included in my beautiful christmas gift hamper um <laughs> It's not very Grinchy of me, but I'm going to have to put this on the tree. So I will definitely do that. And I will insert some, uh, some clip of me removing the decorations for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today being Tuesday. So that's five I have to remove and one I need to add. Perhaps the Grinch can help me with that. <music> To share with you um, that I couldn't share with you as I said was the delivery from Fendi. Fendi sent through um, my invitation to the event in in this beautiful sterling silver frame. It has no branding on it so I do not know where it's from. I'm pretty sure it's not Fendi because if it was Fendi it would have Fendi written on it but my invitation was in here and it was really a lovely thought to um have it presented in such a you know special way so um thank you fendi and there's always 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 room for a photo frame so they're the things that i wanted to show you after we do the advent calendar i'm going to give you a more detailed overview of the drunk trunk um or the side trunk as its official name is and to show you what fits inside um because a lot of people you guys guessed that i bought that so very impressed you all know me very well um some of you even said that you saw that i commented on murphy's channel um, murphy is a um, youtuber based in singapore who's also a louis vuitton sales associate and she did the, the most amazing video on this and i mentioned it in a video i cannot remember which one and said how good it was. And I think that must have been the video that subconsciously planted this bag in my brain. All right, let's see what Meredith has put in the advent calendar today. This is the one she, I think this has got to be the one, Meredith. Let us know in the comments, Meredith, if this is what you were talking about. These are, I've seen them advertised on Instagram or TikTok and Meredith had a pair too. How did you know my size? Oh, of course you know my size. Okay, so Meredith has got me a pair of pluggers in lilac. So these are Archie's and they're meant to be super, super comfy because unlike regular flip flops or thongs as we call them in Australia, they have arch support. So they have a molded footbed instead of just a flat one. A flat foot bed. <laughs> That's bad. A flat foot bed. So you can see they've they kind of cradle your feet. So thanks, Meredith. Um, did you buy them off Instagram too? Because I've been looking at them and look, they're my colour. So good. I cannot. You are ridiculously thoughtful. 
there is another parcel in here though and it's in a blue velvet bag so i am just dying to know what's in here is this the smelly thing <gasps> i know what it is oh my goodness thank you inside this bag meredith has bought me my color season swatches i'm a bright winter and these are all of my colors to shop with i don't know where she got this from they all on the back of them have the actual color names i'm sure lime green probably won't be in here because <laughs> they'd be like nobody should be wearing that color um but wow oh there we go so this is from style solutions for you cheryl ritchie color consultant so there you go um i will put the links for her details because i doubt you'll be able to see them on the description box below so at the beginning it says bright winter image striking dramatic radiant and distinctive Undertones neutral to cool, intensity clear to vivid, value icy to dark. Jewelry, silver and platinum, gems, white pearls, which is why I always love wearing pearls. Um, and that's just instinctive. That's not because I knew that that was good for me. Stones that match the color palette. So yeah, any color stones that match, hence why I love emeralds. Um, you can see that I'm wearing a warm yellow today and it's not doing a lot for my complexion. I didn't return this dress on time and you can tell that it's not the best color for me. It's not doing much for my skin. It's making me look really flat. So case in point, if I was going to choose a yellow, it should be more a brighter color. See how this one is really kind of muted and washed out. If I had chosen a color like this yellow, it would suit me a fair bit more so that's bright lemon yellow and bright yellow so this is such a great great resource um, these are mainly I'm gonna say the darker tones from what I am looking at uh, oh hold on a second oh no and then we've got all of the icy tones at the back here so let's just look at those okay so the icy tones are at the front so you can see here we've got icy silver, glacier blue, a really light icy pastel pink, icy yellow, a light ivory, which is true, ivory works a lot better on me than clear white does, silver, and then you've got all of the more dark and intense colors coming through here. So. If you look in my wardrobe, you'll see greens, you'll see blues. You don't see a lot of these colors in the middle. Um, something for me to perhaps explore. You don't see a lot of dark, rich purples. Um, I just, I like them in my bags, not in my clothes. I'm not a big jewel tone person. I feel like it ages me and it's too heavy for my climate. Perhaps if I lived in a cold climate, I might wear more of these more rich jewel tones, but here they're just not for me they're too much um and you can see there there's some navies black browns um black charcoal gray so that is such a great gift that's a great gift idea um so good thank you meredith you're unbelievable and you've done this for 25 bloody days how have you done that that's just crazy to me unbelievable Okay, I showed Mr. Addiction my new bag. He said he liked it. Does he like it? Who knows? So I'm just gonna take out the long strap and the dust bag that are inside. So a few things I wanna show you in this much better light about this bag. So every corner, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all have the trunk hardware on the corners. Um, and they will get scratched and that's just going to happen and they'll probably tarnish as well. And then you can see around the edges that you've got this embossed trunk kind of edging that is on a lot of the traditional trunks. It's actually not on my flower trunk. Because this is actually a flower trunk and not a travel trunk, it doesn't have it. But 
you can see how it has these pieces around the side. Well, on the bag, they've done that with the Vachetta. And I think that's a good idea, a good call, because you wouldn't want to have metal attached to the canvas. So um, on something that's very pliable like that. Whereas if it's a hard sided, it would be a better idea. But you can see this one has all of that corner hardware as well. And it also has the S-lock closure. So many of you said that you wanted to have a closer look at this bag now, so I'm gonna show you. Um, you can see other details. So on the edge of the D-ring, you can see how big the D-ring is for one. So when I unboxed this, I said, it's easy to keep the top handle and the long strap on at the same time because the D-ring is really big. The sides are hard and structured, but then the rest of it, like I can do that. You know so it kind of reminds me a little bit of an accordion um, where all the keys are on the edge and you can just go rrr, rrr, rrr. should i do that <laughs> all right a lot of you are just going don't do that to the bag tail but it's fine it's what it's meant to do so on the hardware you know it's got louis vuitton branding on the top handle it says louis vuitton paris um the s lock has the detail on it as well on the base of the bag it'll be interesting to see how the bag holds up you cannot see where the s lock is attached on the inside of the bag it's absolutely clean except for this little vachetta tab so yeah it will be interesting to see how that goes um how that wears I don't wear my bags heavily enough or regularly enough that I would expect to see anywhere there. And then on the tab, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Um, and it's actually in a really lovely um, bright gold, which is great. What else do I need to show you about this? So this lockable tab part here, the S-lock, it's, it's got a nice curve in it. See that? Um, so it's not dead straight. So it does hang nicely over the top of the bag and it also has the detail on the end there. Um, there's no feet, so it is what it is in terms of the hardware on the bottom. Um, at the top, at the end here, you can see that there is like this little flap that kind of keeps everything weatherproof or enclosed and then the top goes over. So when you do it up, when you hold it properly, Dale, when you do it up, then you've got that full privacy. Um, it's a really nice buttery smooth zipper, as Connor would say. Now, this is the bag that I picked up to carry today with my summer vibes. I just want to pack this um, and show you what fits. So I've got a iPhone 11 Pro Max and obviously that fits in there. I'm just going to put in what I've literally got in this bag. A six ring key holder, a card case, oops, um, two lip colours, always have dual lip glow and this Tom Ford um, Indian Rose. Um, and then, let me get all of this out. I should go and get my sunglasses as well. Uh, I've got my Dale's Addiction handbag hook. I've got my car fob. I've got my AirPod Pros. I've got a little mirror. I'll get my sunglasses. And I've got my Celine's. I need to find another pair of these. I just want to find them on sale. In a soft bag and everything fits like I want to see if it slouches nice. I want to see if she slouches nicely. Let's just give it a little shake. Shakey, shake, 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 shake. Yes. Oh, yeah. What a little fat belly she's got there. Just like her mama. Okay. So let me keep it open and shake it. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Now, should I show you what it looks like in there? It just looks like a big mess, a, like a, I mean, it's not a black hole. You can definitely look in there and see everything that you want. They do make organizers for these, um, but I wouldn't for this one, just personal preference. Uh, I think 
if it looks very boxy and square, it's definitely not for me, but I know that not everyone shares my love of the slouch. So if I put this longer strap on now, did I just say that? Winnie B? <laughs> oh God. Okay. So there we go. So, she looks like a little fat belly girl, doesn't she? And then what did I do the other day? I pushed that backwards. So, I pushed that back toward me so that it bent over like that. So, I mean, you could even wear it with this dress. I probably wouldn't. I don't know why. If I do it up, will we still get the slouch? A few people were worried about, you know, canvas cracking and things. Yep, so it's done up and we've got the slouch. So that's put that on the shoulder. That's a cute look. Like that's a cute shape. And then when you pick your bag up, I guess you're going to hold your bag on the bottom so that you can undo it easily, one-handed like that, and get out what you want if you've got it closed. Now, well, here we go. So then when you want to close it, you just make sure you've got the zipper pulled back the right way to have tension. You close it, and obviously with these S-locks, they're a lot easier to close when you have things inside of the bags. One of my big gripes about the Pochette Matisse was, was the fact that if I didn't have anything in the front pocket or not much, it just wouldn't close. So yeah, there you go. There's my um, what fits and kind of more detailed overview of this bag and I can't stop touching it, it's so good. So I was talking to a friend on the phone and it was too much to do the salad. So I'm shallow frying the chicken Kiev and I have made myself my signature salad, which is mixed leaves, cucumber, tomato, goat cheese feta, and a little bit of red onion, all tossed together with some salt and pepper, come to room temperature, delicious. That's going to be dinner tonight. I said I would talk to you guys about the handbag charms. I'm going to give two of these away. And here's the terms. The first two people to comment on this video that they want one and leave their Instagram handle or their email address will get one. Because if you've watched this boring vlog so far today, you deserve to get one of these. So uh, first two people, you'll get one of these each. Look cute. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support on Vlogmas. I know it's a big commitment and I really appreciate it. I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.